<laughs> Ow. That dev note was thick. Welcome to the Fuse News episode 187. Oh, I'm, I'm Evan, by the way. So last week I made a video about everything you need to know about the Cookie Run Kingdom collab. Back when I recorded it, we were basing everything off of an interview that I did with four members of the Summoner's Board development team at the Las Vegas meetup. Now we have a little bit more info to work with too, but if you want to scope out that video, it's a nice foundation for everything that you need to know that's coming to Summoner's War based on the CRK collab. But if you really want the full story, then you should scope out the dev story that released on the channel earlier this week, I believe on Tuesday. It's a 15 minute long video that talks with even more members of the development team, shows how they adapted Cookie Run Kingdom from 2D to 3D, goes over their skills, animations, etc. It's a great watch and I highly recommend you scope it out so you can see everything there is to know. I'm gonna have both of those videos linked at the end. And now we get to the dev note that I foreshadowed earlier in the episode. This one's a bit of a doozy. Frankly, a lot of information was revealed in this thing. Everything that we know about the Cookie Run Kingdom collab and more. We got our first look at one of each of the elements of the cookies that are coming to Summoner's War and their skills. And some of them look pretty dope, actually, including the Madeline cookie who has a skill that turns his first skill into an AoE, and I like seeing a second skill that augments the first one. I think that's really fun. People are already discussing how to ruin these units. Some people have mentioned Despair Revenge for the aforementioned Madeline cookie, or others are saying Vampire, so that way you can get around the 50% cap. Along with those units, we also got to look at the original monsters that are coming to Summoner's War. They'll replace the Cookie Run Kingdom collab monsters after November for us. If you're on China server, you'll get those instead. And towards the end of the dev note, there was a new item hinted at that seems suspiciously fantastic. This item is described as a buff that lets you set what type of rune you want to drop in Kairos for the next hour. Now that sounds pretty revolutionary and it was one of the last sentences in the dev note. So if you want to read up on all the juicy details, or in this case, crispy details, I'm gonna have it linked in the description down below. The America's Cup prelims are already underway. We saw the first two days last weekend on August 20th and 21st, but we still have the loser's bracket to go through, and that's happening this Saturday on August 27th. And make sure to be frequently checking that prediction event inside the events page and redeeming all those rewards, because you really do get a lot of stuff just for checking a couple boxes. And speaking of things that are happening on August 27th, the Manhattan Beach meetup that's led by I'm the Juggernaut is happening on that very same day at the Comic Bug which is the location of the very first Summoner's War meetup. Now, this episode releases on Friday, and the meetup happens on Saturday. So if you aren't already registered, I'm not exactly expecting you to go. I'm just telling you these things. That's what this show is about. I'm telling you things, okay? And for our streams this week, earlier in the week on Wednesday, I went and did some climbing with Stoic. At the time of recording, that hasn't happened yet, but I really hope we did more climbing than climbing. And be sure to tune into the stream today at 11 a.m. Pacific time because Gigi's going to be streaming. You know when and where, but I'm gonna put it right there anyway. Plus, I already said when. I said 11 a.m. Pacific time, so pff, this is slightly redundant, but it's there. And that's all the Summoner's War news for this week, guys. Here are those two videos that I talked about during the episode. Keep on farming. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye-bye.